personal story segment tonight is Congressman Alan Grayson Crazy. He represents a district in and around Orlando, Florida, and Monday put out an email associating the Tea Party with the Ku Klux Klan. Grayson claims the Tea Party is racist, thereby demonizing millions of Americans he doesn't even know. Joining us now from Boynton Beach, Florida, former Congressman Alan West, who has some thoughts on the matter. The reason I wanted you on the program tonight is that you served in Congress from Florida. Grayson yeah. serves in Congress from Florida. You didn't overlap. You, you guys don't know each other. But you know the yeah. state. So Grayson was there. They, they, uh, he lost. Then there was a redistricting of some kind. He ran again and he won. But he is the most extreme Democrat, I think, in Congress. Is he not? Yeah, I think that when you look at some of his past comments and definitely with the comment that he recently made in that fundraising email, it really does cause you to ask what will the people in and around the Orlando district thinking about. But this was a new district. It was pretty much so a uh, gerrymandered Democrat district. So it was going to lean uh, successfully toward him. I think you have a pretty good challengers uh, coming up against him in this next 2014 cycle. Well, I would think but so. Me, but, you know, yeah. uh, Orlando is a service industry place. This is what I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Most of the people are working in the service industry, Disney World, all right, yeah. and, and the other uh, parks around there. And they make a good living, but they're not wealthy people. They're not limousine mm -hmm. liberal people. They're working people. Florida is yeah. not a big union state. I mean, he got a lot of union money to run. They love him, but sure. it's not union driven. So who's voting for Alan Grayson? Who, who, who loves Alan Grayson? Well, I think when you look, it was a presidential cycle that he won in, and President Obama spent a lot of time in the Orlando area and through the I-4 corridor, and I believe that uh, Grayson was able to ride on those coattails. But when you look at this fundraising email, this is going to turn some heads. And, you know, this is this symbology that was used of a burning cross is personal for me on three levels. You know, I'm a constitutional conservative. I have been to many Tea Party rallies. It's offensive in that measure. I was born and raised in Georgia and in Atlanta specifically. And growing up in Atlanta, a top stone mountain, uh, the Ku Klux Klan would uh, burn a cross there, which you could visibly see on a clear night. That makes it personal for me. But then also my parents being brought up in Georgia in the 20s and 30s, that uh, burning cross has some symbology and some remembrances that is horrible to the black community. And I don't understand why you're not hearing more of an outrage and an outcry. Well, because uh, Grayson is a liberal man, that's why. When you say and, and that is sad. Well, that's sad because let's just uh, flip the pancake and let's say that there was a Republican member of the House that put out a fundraising email using the uh, the burning cross, the symbol of the Klan. I could guarantee you that Reverend Sharpton and Jackson, the NAACP, the National Urban League, the president himself, everyone would be screaming. As a matter of fact, last year when I talked about the expansion of the dependency society and the welfare nanny state and talking about it as a form of economic slavery, the left went absolutely apoplectic saying that I should not be able to talk about slavery. But yet they're going to allow someone like Alan Grayson to bring up this symbol. You know what I feel it is? I think Grayson is unbalanced. I really do. I mean, I, I, you know, a rational person does not demonize millions of Americans who are either part of or uh, agree with uh, the goals of the Tea Party. He doesn't know any of them. But to call them racist and to use a violent... See, uh, people don't know their history. Uh, what Mr. West is referring to is that the, the Klan was violent. They, they would kill yeah. you. All right? And, and this cross mm -hmm. was a symbol of the violence that if you cause trouble, you African-Americans, we're going to hurt you and, and hurt your family physically. All right. This is this is really vile. As far as I know, the Tea Party has never hurt anyone. They don't yeah. interrupt meetings like the uh, Occupy Wall Street movement does. They mm -hmm. don't destroy property. So I just think it was a sickening display. And I'll give you the last word. Well, it is actually very Pavlovian when you think about it, Bill, because we continue to reward this type of behavior. We, they reelected Grayson, and you don't hear anyone uh, taking him to task on it. And I'm quite sure that they're championing him on another cable news network. As a matter of fact, you read his statement, he doubled down on this. So you're not going to see him retract this statement. No, and he's not, not going to do that, but he's going to lose next November. He's going to lose. I predict we pray that right so. Now. All right, Mr. West, thanks very much. When we come right back, 